It's not uncommon here in Georgia to come across a family farm, but what is uncommon these days is an entire family, three generations, working together on a farm. That's the case here at Boyd Farms as the family works to finish up planting this year's peanut crop. We farm in two counties, Scriven and Effingham County. We grow cotton and peanuts, corn and soybeans. We grow some wheat, a few small grains. We grow, we raise cows, raise cattle, and, uh, and we grow some hay as well. So we're pretty diversified for our neck of the woods. Uh, we're pretty scattered around. We farm in about a 55 mile radius from top to bottom, or you know, top to bottom, about 55 miles. And uh, my family's been farming for a long time. Both of my parents came from farms, so. I think I'm fourth generation on one side and fifth generation on the other side to be on the land that we've been on. And I don't know how far back my people have farmed because, you know, we started sharecropping and kind of, you know, farms change a lot in size, scope, you know, the things we grow and how we do it. But, you know, the love for the land was instilled in us a long, long time ago. The farm has been passed down for generations and today is in the hands of this man, the head of the Boyd family, Mr. Owen Boyd who is 75 years old and has been farming for more than 50 years. Basically, I've been farming all my life and I've been able to do it ever since I was in high school. I grew up as an only child on a small farm and got the farm, liked the farm. And uh, after I graduated from high school, you know, I worked a couple of years off and. It was all related to agriculture and the fertilizer business. I worked with a telephone company one year, but I still farmed and the lack of farming and what I was making doing something else, I just elected to keep farming and then got married and had two boys and they both been in the operation with us for all their lives. And uh, they finished school, went off to college and then elected to come back to the farm with us. Since his sons decided to come back to the farm, they have had some children of their own, and they all work on the farm now as well. Grandfather, sons, and cousins, something that Ben says is nothing short of a blessing. I think we've all got each other's best interest in mind. You know, I don't want to do anything that's good for me if it's not good for all of us. And every one of us would rather do good for each other than we would ourselves. You now, working with your family, there's nothing like it. You know, there's nothing like the the accomplishment that you can feel, you know, for putting a crop in and getting a crop out and know that you've done it together. It's kind of like a team, you know, when you put a group effort together and it works out, it really makes you feel good. And looking back, they wouldn't want it any other way. The fact that you can look out in that field there and see one son on one tractor, another son on another tractor, and a few minutes I'll be on a combine and it's just, you can't beat it. I don't care how you go, you can't beat it. Reporting in Screven County for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.